हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज टुडे वी स्टार्ट ऑन ए चैप्टर ऑफ योर केमिस्ट्री पेपर नंबर 501 दैट इज क्रिस्टल फील्ड थ्योरी एंड शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ क्रिस्टल फील्ड थ्योरी सीएफटी ओके सो वी स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज द कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री इन कोऑर्डिनेशन केमिस्ट्री मेटल आयन इज कनेक्टेड विद लिगेंड वायर कोवेलेंट कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड वायर कोवेलेंट कोऑर्डिनेट बॉन्ड and form coordination compound and coordination compound is also known as complex what do you mean by coordination compound coordination compound means when metal ion attached with ligand via covalent coordinate bond and it form a different type of complex it means in complex is differ from one sort single sort double sort okay so In complex metal ion is attached with ligand wire covalent coordinate bond, and the geometry of the complex ion is different. It is ML four type complex, ML four types, ML six types, ML five types. Different types of complex are produced when metal ion is attached with ligand wire covalent coordinate bond. Okay, so we studied about this theory in previous year. It is F five S five. Okay, so in CFT, in this crystal field theory, we will discuss about what is the stability, what is the magnetic property, and what is the structure of different complexes and splitting of d orbital in different complexes. Okay, so CFT deals with only d orbital. CFT deals deals with the change of energy in d orbital. Okay, so first. introduction part of this cfp so in 1927 bethe introduced this theory to explain the structure and stability of complex so first one scientist 1927 bethe bethe introduced this theory to explain the structure and stability of complex complex means simple coordinate and compound this is complex 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 coordinate compound coordinate compound means metal ion is attached with ligand okay so bethe introduced this theory in 1927 to explain the structure and the stability of different complexes okay so another scientist one day explain the magnetic property of complexes by using this theory okay so one day introduced the magnetic property of this complex okay so what do you mean by magnetic property the equation of magnetic property mu is equal to under root n n plus 2 and the unit of magnetic property is power magneto okay so another scientist one day to explain the magnetic property of complex by using this theory so any complex magnetic behavior of any complex is like two types first one is paramagnetic and another one is diamagnetic okay so any complex contain only one Single one unpaired electron in that time this complex will become paramagnetic. It means unpaired electron is present. That means para. Only single single unpaired electron is required for paramagnetic behavior of any complexes. And all the electrons are paired. It means it is diamagnetic in nature. Okay. So this is the magnetic property, and we can easily calculate magnetic moment. mu it is mu is equal to under root n n plus 2 and the unit of this magnetic moment is power magneto okay so another scientist one day introduced this theory to explain the magnetic property okay so first one is one they think to is this theory to describe stability and the structure of different complexes and second one is one day introduced this theory to explain magnetic behavior or magnetic moment of, of different complexes okay so crystal field theory explain bonding between metal ion and ligand in very simple manner crystal field theory explain the interaction of metal ion metal ion with ligand in very simple manner okay so when ligand is closer come closer to the metal ion at that time it form it form electrostatic field at that time energy of the orbital is changes okay so when ligand is come closer to the metal ion at that time electrostatic field of field is produced on 
metal ion and in it changes the energy of d orbital okay so when ligand comes closer to the metal ion at that time interaction between metal ion and ligand change produce electrostatic field around the metal ion and it changes the energy of d orbital of central metal ion okay so what first central metal ion are comes from d orbital it means 3d series 4d series 5d series 3d series contain 21 to 20 uh, 13 scandium titanium beryllium chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc okay so 3d series contain only 10 metal ion same as 4d and 5d okay so metal ion is comes from d block so metal ion is comes from d block and what do you mean by ligand Ligand is neutral or negative charge species with uh, with connected with metal ion via covalent covalent bond. Okay, so when ligand comes closer to the metal ion at that time, electrostatic field of uh, produce around the metal ion it, and it changes the d orbital of energy of d orbital of the metal ion. Okay, so. First one is s orbital. S orbital is symmetrical. Shape of s orbital is symmetrical round type. Okay, and so the shape of p orbital is dumbbells. Okay, so these two orbitals are symmetric in nature. These two orbitals are symmetric in nature. Okay, so C M T means crystal field theory deals with only one orbital that is p orbital. Okay, so s and p orbital are symmetrical, so it is not much effect on ligand. On s and p orbital, it means when ligand comes closer to the metal ion, at that time energy of s orbital and p orbital does not change. It means it changes minor, so it does not affect. It does not much affect of ligand of on s and p orbital. But when ligand comes closer to the metal ion, at that time electrostatic field of force field is Produce around the metal ion and it changes the energy of the orbital. Okay, so CFT deals with only d orbital. CFT deals with CFT means crystal field theory is deals with only d orbital. So sub uh, sub types of d orbital is first one is d x y d y z sub orbital are five. D x y, D y z, D z x, D x square minus y square, and D z square. Okay, so this is the basic figure of D x y. D x y means loss is lying between x and y axis. This loss is lying between x and y axis. So it is D y z. D y z means loss is lying between y y axis and z axis. Loss is lying between y axis and z axis. So it is D Z X. This Z X is. This loop is lying between X axis and Z axis. Okay, so same as the X square minus Y square. The X square minus Y square at that time loop is lying on the axis, lying on the X axis and Y axis. Same as the Z square. Okay, so this five suborbitals of D. Suborbitals of D are five. First one is d x y d y z d z x d x square minus y square and d z square. Okay, so this is the simple three D figure of the d orbital. Okay, so first one is introduction part of the C F T. So two scientists, first one is Van Dijk, introduced this theory to explain stability and structure of different complexes. Complexes means metal ion is attached with ligand via covalent protein and bond, and it forms. Special type of compound. This compound is known as coordination compound or complex. Coordination compound or complex both are same. Okay. So another scientist want to explain the magnetic behavior of this complex. Magnetic behavior means paramagnetic or diamagnetic and magnetic moment. Magnetic moment mu is equal to under root n n plus two power magneton. N is the number of unpaired electron. N is equal to number of un unpaired electron. Okay. So when ligand is come closer to the metal ion, at that time electrostatic field produced around the metal ion, and it it affect energy of d orbital because s orbital and p orbital both are symmetrical. So it does not much effect on ligand. So it does not mean uh, 
much effect on ligand. Okay, so d orbital is not symmetrical. D orbital is not symmetrical, so it distributes in five direction. It distributes in five direction along the nucleus. So suborbitals so of dr five. First one is dx five, dyz, dzx, dx square minus y square, and dz square. Okay. So this is the figure of dx five. Dx five is means dx y dy z in dz x in three these three orbitals lobes are lying between between the axis x y means lobes are lying these lobes are lying between x and y axis dy z means lobes are lying between y and z axis dz x means lobes are lying between the x and z axis okay so d x square minus y square It means lobes are on the x-axis as well as on the y-axis. Lobes on the axis here between the axis here on the axis. Same as the z-square. The z-square means lobes is lying on the z-axis. Okay, so. D orbital in this CFT. D orbital is split into two terms. First one is T2G and EZ. Okay. So these three D X Y D X Y D Y Z and G D Z X contain create only one group. That is known as T2G group. T2G and this square D X square minus Y square and D Z square create second group. That is known as P G group. Okay. So the orbital is split. Why? Because of when ligand comes closer to the metal ion, at that time energy of the orbital is changes because the orbital is not symmetrical. So at that time the orbital the orbital is further split into two terms. First one is T2G. T2G means T X Y, T Y Z, and T Z S. These three orbital create one group that is known as a T2G group. And T X square minus Y square and T Z square create another group. That is known as Z group. Okay. So at that time, the orbital is further split into two terms. First one is T2G and second one is Z. Okay. So this is the basic introduction part of the CFT. CFT deals with the energy changes in D orbital. CFT deals with the energy changes in only D orbital. Okay. So D orbital further split into two terms. First one is T2G. T2G means D X Y. D Y Z and D Z X. These three terms are known as T two G group, and another one is D X square minus Y square and D Z square. These two terms are known as T Z group. Okay. So I completed only introduction part of C A T in first lecture. So in second lecture we will discuss about some basic explanation of crystal field theory via using D orbital. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.